Have you ever heard of anything crazier than the government saying, we're now going to pay people not to use the electricity that we've been subsidising? Honestly, if they don't fix that, permanently fix it and convince the public, they'll be out of office. And if Labor comes in and they don't fix it, they'll be a one-term government. It is a white-hot issue in the community, as you're probably well aware. And uh, these, this band-aid on a cancer approach, you know, just, oh, look over here because the problem is, is not that in that direction. You know, I think the public is way too smart for that. They will wake up to it. It is political dynamite. And, you know, the government got us into this position, or state and federal governments got us into this position. It's going to require some serious political leadership to get us out of it. I'm not seeing and it. Not, I have you seen it? I haven't seen it. No, we're not. We're seeing a, a, a few good ideas. I mean, I particularly like Craig Kelly's comments on it. Yeah. Um, he's a smart guy. But, uh, um, and belatedly, very belatedly, Tony Abbott has got onto the issue. But I'm not hearing it out of the cabinet. No, uh, as soon as Tony Abbott says these, I mean, from his speech, very good proposals. I, I might disagree with the bun or two, but mm. basically very good. Mm. But the abuse from the media is like, oh, someone just spat in church or, you know, ran naked down uh, during the mass or something like that. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, well, a large part of the media is still, has still signed up to this idea that Australia should commit economic suicide um, while the rest of the world, while, uh, you know, major emitters don't do anything at all. I, I find it bizarre. It doesn't matter whether you believe in climate change or, or you don't believe in climate change being man-made. I mean, climate change occurs irrespective, but whether any of it is mm. contributed to by man-made uh, means is another matter. Even if you are a fervent believer in it and you say the science is settled, there's nothing to discuss, it's all, all definite, there is still no sense in Australia committing economic suicide while the rest of the other major emitters do nothing. It I mean, really China's is like killing a goat to appease the volcano gods. Absolutely correct. He was I mean, right. China, yeah, that's absolutely <laughs> right. China has said they're not even going to consider reducing emissions until 2030. They're going to nearly they're, double them. Exactly. And they, they emit more in a day than Australia emits uh, in a year. It's just madness. Sometimes I just wonder what... You know, there have been other periods of history where there have been fits of collective madness, so let's not pretend this is unusual. But, gee, yeah. it's depressing. Uh,